The How Now Wow matrix lets you and your team brainstorm ideas, classify them, and prioritize them so you know which ideas to pursue. You can use different prioritization techniques such as sorting, voting, and rating, and then plan actions to bring these new ideas to life. So, if we have a low risk and highly pursuable idea, that's one for the now column. If we have an ambitious but challenging idea, that might be one for the future, or the how column. However, if we have a highly innovative and easy to implement idea, that's a wow. As with any group map template, it's quick and easy to create. Simply type in the search templates bar, how, and there's our how now wow. So here you can change the name and a number of design processes, if that's what you wish. For example, in the brainstorm phase, we can make the style collaborative, where participants see each other's ideas, or individual, where they can only see the ideas that they themselves are plotting. In the voting stage, we can allocate how many votes we want to give participants. But perhaps what's more unique to the How Now Wow retrospective is that we're given a position process to choose from here. So, this basically judges who can position the ideas that we're plotting. So, for example, back here where we were moving our ideas into the categories that we thought were most appropriate, in the customization page here, we can choose only the facilitators to be allowed to do this, or everyone. Similarly, choosing where our ideas can be positioned can either be chosen by the individual participant themselves, or as a group, more collectively, collaboratively. So once you're completely satisfied with your customizations, you can head to the bottom and click Create. And here's the How Now Wow retrospective quickly generated for us. So you'll notice that there's a axis on each side, one for innovation, and I've labeled this one difficulty. So if you do want to, to go back and make any customizations to this template, at any stage you can go into the sidebar here, click Customize, and yeah, we can relabel things if we'd like to. You can rechange processes that you might have chosen and then simply click return to map at the bottom here. To actually invite participants, head to the top right hand corner, the invite tab in green. Here you can send them a email, uh, just type in their email address there, or there's a map ID link which is randomly generated and a regular link there which you can send to participants. So you remember in the customization phase, we actually allowed in position here, we allowed everyone to add their ideas collaboratively and for participants to be able to move their ideas wherever they wish. If we do want more control over this as a facilitator, you do have that option to make it facilitator only or for ideas to be positioned on the map by only the participants themselves. They can't move each other's ideas around. You have those options. It should also be mentioned that you can delete, remove ideas. Uh, you can add descriptions to ideas or images that suit fit. Moving on to the grouping stage up here, let's say that two ideas are quite similar. You can group them together as one, but it should be mentioned that if you change your mind for whatever reason, you can ungroup these ideas. So now that we've formally reached the position stage, this is where groups can discuss where they think ideas should be placed. Uh, the facilitator will be able to move these ideas wherever they want. And depending on whether you allowed participants themselves to move their, their ideas or even other people's ideas, that really comes down to your own discretion in the customization phase. Moving on to the voting tab here, this is where participants can add dot votes on the ideas that they think are most valuable. So you'll remember in the customizing phase, we actually had a number of votes to give participants. This is where they apply them. Finally, in the results tab, this is really just a nice overview of options that have been decided. So we've obviously, we can have a look at ideas that we've plotted, where we've put them, which ones are most popular, but you can always go back and change these. So it's a good chance for groups to really just review and reflect on decisions that they've made. 
So once all participants are completely satisfied with the decisions that have been made, you can head to reports by clicking on the top left hand toolbar again, click on reports, fourth one down, and here you can download the decisions that have been made as a image, a PDF or a JPEG file. You can also basically look at the reports as a complete overview of the ideas that have been made, uh, where they've been positioned, everything like that, participants involved, each of the phases that we took. So yeah, another fantastic overview for groups to look over and potentially save. And once you're done and dusted, you've finished your map, you can be reassured that it enters your maps page. So that's handy. You can always click on that again and return to the map. Hopefully this video helped guide you guys how to create your own How Now Wow matrix, allowing you and your teams to create awesome, actionable ideas and bring these ideas to life. If you liked this video, please don't forget to follow us in the links below or check out some of our other videos to help your teams think better together.